We're just gonna fucking uh, into a. Uh, we just call it like the entire battleground. Alright, what's up, the guys? This is Corbin. In this year video, we trying out a bit of a Mongol spec. It's been a while since I've even uploaded, man. I think this is a good video to uh, get things rolling with again. And I might talk a little bit by why there's been you know gaps in the content and stuff like that in a future video. For now, we got a Mongol spec to play, man. Fire and brimstone. Shittest talent ever. In fairness, Cataclysm is probably fucking worse than Fire and Brimstone in most scenarios, but Fire and Brimstone, you don't see this shit in PvP. Someone actually brought the spec to my attention. You know who you are. Um, I, fuck, I can't remember your name on Twitch actually now, the one who, uh, the guy who suggested this build, but Fire and Brimstone. Cremation. Your incinerate automatically applies immolate and conflagrate deals an additional 5% of the target's maximum health in fire damage. And Bane of Havoc, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god, curses the ground with a demonic bane, causing all of your single target spells to also strike targets marked with the bane. So the idea with this, and we also expect it to wear a mortal coil so that we can, you know, kind of throw down, um, where's my infernal just to show the AoE? Yeah, you sort of like throw down a bane of havoc on the ground like that, and then you, you know, mortal coil some guy who's like standing here, who's like right in front of you, you know, and then the coil just goes like, pfft, and you just coil like six people or something. That's the idea anyway. Uh, likewise, you know, you can incinerate a group of guys in this direction while the Bane of Havoc is on the ground behind you, like on the flank spot or something like that. And just incinerates just fucking fly out and all that. It looks fucking sick, right? I'm not quite sure how effective this spec is. I've only played it like this AoE style spec in Battlegrounds. Once or twice on stream, I think I did it, but let's get to some Battlegrounds. I'm queued up for Eye of the Storm and Gilneas, because these are some good Battlegrounds for this kind of thing, I think. Fighting around the flag, waterworks, stuff like that. And we're just gonna see how it goes, man. What the fuck, man? Look at how red my neck is, dude. Looks like a goddamn one-toothed vampire has went ahead and had a little snaggle on me, man. Fuck. So as hell as well. Alright, woo! Are we in deep wind gorge after all. Had to queue random. Sitting in the queue for 25 minutes, but that's okay. Deep wind gorges. It's a fine battleground, alright. Alright, just don't look at me. Don't look at me. Okay, man. Sick. Everybody stack up, everybody stack up. Stack the fuck up, damn it. There we go. Uh, I can just like mully these guys with all these incinerates and shit. Fucking kill this guy and just coils all go over there and just, it's all sick. I mean, we didn't really do a lot, but I kind of want to check the damage done. And like, oh, uh, reflect that. Oh my god, annihilated. Crushed, destroyed. It's kind of weird having to place your havoc. You have to sort of get used to that crap. Um, that was a super, super short fight though. Oh, why am I casting Immolate? Incinerate automatically applies that, right? We did an alright amount of damage. I mean, there was only three targets there. That's not a very good representation of the spec at its finest, you know what I mean? Probably because this spec only works really well in like very, very specific battlegrounds and very, very specific circumstances, but trust me, it's gonna it's gonna get cooler than this, right? Do we can flags? Oh yeah, I can just spread the uh, incinerates on these guys, right? Oh my god, it's so fucking sick. So if I like put that over there and then coil and then the coils fly out all over there as well. Oh my god, dude. Look at all these Chaos Sports that are going to do very, very little damage, really, but at least they'll look cool, you know? Yeah, man, you just stay over there, you just stand on that big, huge green thing. He's doing it, man. Just keep still. Net him, so he fucking stays there. Oh, the other guy died. So one of the pluses of this spec, it's a different way to play Destro. Actually, this is a couple of pluses to this spec. It's a different way to play Destro. Um, that feels nothing quite like the spec has ever felt like before, and it's long and, uh, and quite rocky history, you know? What? Come on, man, he's totally standing on that shit. It just feels really different, you know, like throwing a Havoc down on the ground like this and having no cooldown on it is pretty nice and... I don't know, it's just interesting. It's a bit of a breath of fresh air, you know? The other positive of this spec is that it just looks fucking awesome, man. Throwing out like a quad mortal coil, like a quad chaos bolt. Even though you're not specced into, um... To, to pick up cremation, you kind of have to bypass Focus Chaos and Firestone. Uh, which you could go for. I mean, if you really, really wanted to. The Chaos Bolt sort of don't do much damage. That's what I'm getting at. Oh my god, look how stacked they are, dude. Man. No, leave me alone, Rogue. Oh my god. Let's just coil everything. Oh man, that feels so good. Mm, incinerate everything after that as well. And then just that guy's behind a boulder, so we're just gonna ignore him. Oh, see, the radius of the, um, Bin of Havoc is actually deceptively small. You have to be, like, standing here on it. Kind of, like, inside the, um, the inner side of the circle, you know? 
in order for it to activate. It seems like quite um quite unresponsive at times as well, but that's a whole other thing. Oh my god, man, there's like a billion people up there, dude. Uh, yeah, go, go, Voltex. I believe in you, dude, man. Get recording for uh, for Voltex One. This could be a big break, man, in terms of montages. Go, go, you bastard. I don't want to go in there first, dude. I think there are three people here. Yeah, yeah, you're a melee. Come on, it's your job. So this hasn't been a very stacky battleground in case you, in case you can't. Ooh, son of a bitch. In case you can't tell, this hasn't been a very stacky battleground. It's probably why we skipped through a lot of the clips, I'd imagine. When it comes to uh, uh he's dropped it. Click it, click it, you melon. Did they just win because that cart wasn't clicked? Oh my god, race changing a human. Plenty of lions to the middle, please. Plenty of lions to the middle, please. <laughs> oh my god, it looks like a fucking small army is coming to the middle, actually. We might just get ran over here, dude. It's like fucking one alliance has gone to each base. So we've got like 13 people coming here. Oh my god. Okay, alright. Um, they're all invisible. Let's just stand back here. And just fucking... No, the flag! The flag! The flag! Drop the infernal on it! Check this coil, dude. Uh, a small army of mortal coils just left me right there, man. That's fucking sick. Uh, oh my god, look at all these incinerates, man. Holy shit, that feels good. That feels good, man. I'm having fun right now. No, let me live. Let me fucking live, dude. We put that at the back, then we incinerate the guys at the front. Oh, shit. All right, man, that feels fucking sweet, man. Oh, I'm so, I'm so dead, but you know what? No, I'm not, man. Fuck this video game. <gasps> that was nearly a disaster. That was nearly a disaster. But we're actually gonna make it a win. I'm pretty, I'm pretty, I'm pretty pleased with that. I'm quite happy right now. That's what we like to see, dude. What am I even dying to right now, by the way? Oh, it's the rogue bullshit, isn't it? Just casually send those coils over there. You see, you see that paladin there? He should have been hit by that, right? Um, I think of the animation. It, it sort of only works. It's magic. If, um, if, if you plant the Bane of Havoc on wherever people are standing, you know? Maybe I should be Chaos Bolting a lot more, actually. I think I should be Chaos Bolting a lot more. Let's throw some out, dude. Meh. Meh. Oh my god, man. That feels so fucking cool. You don't even know. Ugh. Let me just get another one over here. I don't know how much damage we're doing right now, but... It feels like we're doing stuff, you know? I may as well take a millet off my action bars, of course, using this spec, because as soon as you spec into cremation these days, it just, um... It essentially do What the fuck? We are four basing these guys? Well, they did send, like, 70,000 people to, uh, to the middle. Oh my god, man, there they are, Alan. Look at all of them. No, keep still, keep still! Why do they keep on running away, man? Stand on the fucking green thing, damn it! Ooh, look at that, dude! I mean, we actually beating Aphilox. I was about to say, there's no Aphilox in here, obviously, you know? There's no Shadow Priests in here. The Shadow Priests would definitely be destroying us, I think. Um, but damn, that's pretty impressive uh, AoE damage, right? That's pretty sick. Just let the battleground end now, man. This has been like the perfect BG to show this off, you know? Everyone all stacked up, just amalgamating in the middle. It feels great. It feels, it feels pleasing to me. Oh my god, look at this. Look at the amalgamation. Look at the amalgamation. We're just gonna fucking... Uh, into a... Uh, we just coined like the entire battleground. Holy fuck, are you kidding me? Holy fuck. Okay, um... As if they're not coming after me. Well, some of them are anyway, but... Uh, okay, they're all like spread out now, so we're just being like a lot less effective. But that was fucking worth it, right? That's just worth a video on its own. I don't even care, dude. Yes, let me spread these emulates, man. No, don't kill me. I thought the demon hunter might have been pew pewing me. They just want me, man. They just fucking want me. They want my blood. <sighs> Alright, man. Did you see it? Did you see it? Did you see, like, that seven... I mean, you have, like, a triple coil, a double coil, you can have a quad coil. What's the word for, like, six or seven coils, you know? I don't think there's even a word for that. There probably is, I'm just fucking ignorant to it, you know? Imagine if, like, Horde actually won Alderic Valley and I could bring myself to queue into that shit. And you just land the biggest, snottiest fucking lob on of coils you've ever seen in your life, you know? Fucking sick, dude. Woo! And we got a shit item as well, as reward. Man, we trashed the damage, dude. What were we actually against? Okay, there was like a couple of affy looks, like I say. Um, Fury Warrior, Red Pan. So there wasn't like a Shadow Priest here. I don't think that the affy looks were, um... We're doing what I do when I play Affliction Battlegrounds. I don't think that they were like layering on the damage on fucking pets and summons and you know, 
all the stupid shit that you shouldn't really be doing. I mean, it's fine, like, spread agonies onto everything as affliction just to get, um, more soul shard procs, though. Even still, even though those guys obviously weren't doing that, we did some pretty damn good damage, man. I think that we did almost double the damage of the guy in second there, or the guy in third or something, so... That's pretty sick. Anyways, short and sweet video, short and sweet video. Like I say, I played this spec on stream and I actually had a lot of fucking fun playing it. Um, it's very, very different to the Destro that we've that we've come to know and love over the years. Destro classically is um, a little bit more just single target, Destro chainy focused, or at least I slapped that idea of Destro in my head. I know that we don't have much CC these days, and it's a lot more just focused on you know getting out a big lob on case bolt and randomly winning depending on if your mastery rolls high. But this variation of Destro. Certainly plays very, very differently. It's certainly a lot more niche. Um, I'll show the other talents again as well. Give it a try yourself. Give it a try yourself. Uh, some people on stream are talking about, or oh, maybe try Channel Demon Fire instead of Soul Conduit. I believe Channel Demon Fire would actually duplicate the uh, the little the little bolts of Fellfire onto people affected by your Bane of Havoc. So maybe that's something to try out. I, I'm pretty sure that it does duplicate and copy that damage onto everyone affected by Havoc, actually. I'm 90% sure of that, so maybe try it out yourself if you want. Uh, wreak Havoc I don't think will actually do anything, because Bane of Havoc just doesn't have a fucking cooldown anyway uh, when you spec into that, so it's, it's a bit useless, you know, maybe it just makes it last a little bit longer. But I think that, honestly, Soul Conduit, Channel Demon Fire, try out any of the fucking talents that you want. Uh, to give the spec a whirl, man, to give the spec a whirl. Make sure that you're playing it in the correct battleground. If you're playing a goddamn war song gulch and everyone's just like super focused on getting the flag and you're just cleaving on like two people, <laughs> you're not gonna have a very fun time, but try an Isla Conquest, try it in Outrock Valley, you know. Maybe I'll get around to those too, uh, that too as well. But yeah, hope you'll enjoy this video, guys. Hope you uh, enjoy trying out the spec yourself. Thanks for stopping by. And I'm gonna catch all you guys next time later. Remember, you can support the channel by liking, commenting, and subscribing, and checking out our Patreon page, which is always linked below in the description. So, cheers again, everyone, and I will see you all tomorrow. So, if I root him, does he just fall directly down, you know?